Anyway, let me see. All right, so this is an interesting one. The call is coming from inside the house. Wait, that is my phone. Actually, let me go and get that. Yellow. Hello, what's your favorite scary movie? Well, I think Scary Movie 1 was an all-time classic. Scary Movie 2 was a bit better, but a bit more like pop culture rather than scary movie-ish. Number 3 was Peak. Number four was just all over the place, becoming the modern spoof movie we have today, which kind of sucks. And number five was just awful. Well, uh, those are correct. Uh, I I guess I'll hang up now. Yeah, you probably should. I got a video to do. Okay, yeah, thanks. So anyway, the call is coming from inside the house myth. Now. This is really a classic urban legend horror scenario. So a young woman who is home alone, often she is babysitting or often she is making a popcorn and going to watch a scary movie, meta commentary, Wes Craven, meta commentary. She gets a creepy phone call at about 9, 8 a.m. when things are getting pretty dark, asking, have you checked on the kids? What's your favorite horror movie? What's up? Or is the back door unlocked? She then calls the police and then they tell her on the phone that the call is coming from inside the house. Now, a discredited trope from the early days when residents only had one landline phone, the terror comes from the fact that the caller inside the house would presumably have been losing the house phone line the entire time, meaning that they were pretty much watching you the entire time, waiting for you to be next to a landline to call. So most people couldn't call someone else in the house, inside the house, was the last place somebody would expect. Now, let me see. So the sense of dread that the phone call is coming from inside the very building that someone is occupying may be lost on people who have been able to call anyone from anywhere at any time. And of course, from the socioeconomic standards, yes, because that is horror movie as well. Yeah, they, call, they, they actually cover a lot of interesting topics, so... The socioeconomic thing is, well, not everybody owns a big house, right? So for me, in my instance, I can hear anybody from inside the house. As you can hear, hopefully not, the TV. So pretty small house, right? So there's that point of view that not everybody can have that terror. But if you were to have that terror instead of a small house, that would amplify things so much because they could just jump out at you at any time. I think a big house is much more tame and you, you got more to run, but I think the horror comes from the fact that if they catch you, <laughs> you, you can't outrun them unless you don't, oh my gosh, you have to jump out the second story window, like freaking um, the lady from Michael Myers. Anyway, sorry, I forget, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, hmm. However, the real terror from anybody, no matter how big the house is, is that, however, that instead of being safe in your own home, you're actually locked in the building with a psycho who's been making threatening calls ready to kill you and can be pretty scary, cell phone or not, and could pretty much kill you at any time, especially in a small house. Um, this trope actually predates a lot of horror movie icons and stuff like that, but was pretty much popularized in... Of course, scary movie, well, no, that is actually Scream. So this trope predates the adoption of the 911 service or 911 service, as well as caller ID and caller waiting and blocking calls and stuff like that. Especially as the original version of the legend usually highlights that the victim has to call the operator. Hello, 911, what's your emergency? Well, you see, there's a caller inside my house. Um, isn't that your kid? Does he have a voice modulator? Um, anyway, um, popular ones or popular variations of the call can include, I can see you, short distance telephone calls, evil phone, paranormal activity style, disconnected by death, there's a whole lot of time, it was there the whole time, not to be confused with the caller knows where you live though, so that's pretty interesting. Anyway, that was a long winded video, but hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and until next time. What's your favorite comedy movie? What's up? Hello? Hello, is this Domino's? Yes, I would like to order a large pizza. 
extra fries. And did you check the storage room? Because I'm pretty sure there's a Coke behind there. Don't play with me, Kevin. I know there's a Coke at Domino's.